Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Do the gesture, Kita. Do the gesture. Kita edition! Alright. So, you guys spoke. You were like, I've got things to say. I really want you to go into Ulusil and get completely effed by Manus. That's not totally, that's not exactly what you said. But basically, it sounded like you guys, most, the majority of you wanted to see Ulusil and just see me wrap it up and get through it. So we're going to go back to Ulusil, as I said I would do. And actually, um, I just changed my mind for a moment. I'm going to go back to Pat, nah, you know what, never mind. I was thinking I was go back to Patches and get the Mask of the Father and therefore I could qu equip heavier equipment. But then I'd have to go farm and probably level up some other equipment. So, eh, you know what, never mind. Let's just do this and not. If I need the Mask of the Father, I need the Mask of the Father, but for now, we'll say I don't. So, I believe I made sure that Bonfire had, um... Oh yeah, you can also get large Titanite Shards from these guys, they're really good about dropping them. Anyways, I believe that Bonfire is up to 20, so that's, that's some good news. Do I kill these guys? No, I don't. No, no, no. I'm used to being able to kill those guys in one uh, running attack, but ha ha ha, that was fantastic. Two will have to suffice though. And more large Titanishites. Man, maybe like I could just wear some better equipment and level it up a bunch. I think I'm just missing out on some Titanite chunks, which wouldn't be too hard to farm. Anyways, missing this elevator at the moment, and really the reason I wanted to, um, to go to Isolith first was so I could get that Skull Lantern. Which, oh, fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
Um, I do want to apologize a little bit. Uh, last episode I was talking about just not agreeing with Vadi Vidya's lore interpretation in one of his lore videos, and I've got nothing against him. He's awesome. Vadi Vidya is great. I love a lot of his videos. Uh, this was just one particular video, and it's a very cool theory. Don't get me wrong. And there are things that I didn't mention that do kind of point out. I don't think... I think this this is a um, a developer message to actually help people out since it's so different. Let there be light, and then you kind of kind of see little splotches on this area. I think, but yeah, I think that one's actually developer. But anyways, as far as a uh, pinwheel and the reasons to support the whole family thing that I didn't mention last time, um, reasons that would support it would be give me this. That in the music for Pinwheel's Chamber, yeah, Civil Repentance could come really in handy against Manus. I've beaten him without it twice, actually. Um, but you know what? Might as well just use it, especially since I'm so low level. It, any little bit of help is nice. Back to Vadivideo's thing. So, Pinwheel. In the background of his boss chamber music, you constantly hear the whispers of, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And then... Pinwheel's name in Japan, his Japanese name, is Sanin Haori. Uh, someone told me it was actually pronounced Sanin Baori. Would be the correct pronunciation when you combine those words, but, um... I'm not sure, so I'll just keep calling it Sanin Haori. But that basically means a three-person weave. And Ninin Haori is an actual Japanese thing, or Ninin Baori. When you look at the spelling, it's Haori, but sometimes things can change a little bit and get tweaked. But anyways, um... Ninin Haori means... Two-person weave, and that's a common Japanese um, joke. And that, at this point, it's pretty common knowledge because Epic Name Bros talked about it, and then you know, Vadi Videos talked about it, and I've talked about it in my lore videos. But um, that's what it is. It's a Japanese joke that a lot of kids play, where you dress up in the same cloak. So Sani Haori would be three people in a weave. And um, anyways, the fact that it, there's also a picture where you see them all huddled up together, and it's clearly three people who are father, mother, and child all together um, in this one cloak is what kind of brought people to, th or this theory that Vadi Vidya talked about and used. Um, just about it being a family who had been woven together, and it was the father um, who was trying to separate the family, and he was saying, I'm so sorry, because that's all he was trying to do with his research. It's, it's a possible theory, but outside of the fact that there are three people in a weave, and are th together under a cloak, I don't think they're even woven together. It's just three people under it's the same cloak. And um, the fact that he's saying, I'm so sorry, there's nothing else to support anything he was saying in that theory. But again, it's a cool, cool theory, so if you like it, great. Okay, something cool here that I never noticed. But this guy's kind of off in the corner doing his own thing, this specific sorcerer, and he won't even aggro and isn't ready to attack you. And he's carrying the I'm so sorry carving. Think about that. Now, he's carrying the I'm so sorry carving. And these two sorcerers down here, totally willing to uh, attack you. Oh, crap. Crap. Wow, that was could have been really bad. Um, anyways, really just totally willing to attack you. And he's off on his own with an I'm so sorry. So it's kind of the idea of maybe, uh, maybe he was turning and he was felt really bad about it. Or maybe he's like, I'm sorry because... I just can't do this, and I can't be with you guys or be a part of this. But it's actually not something I noticed. It was a Redditor noticed this, and uh, I don't, I'm sorry I don't remember his name, so I can't accredit him. But it's just such a cool uh, theory I had to share. And it also points out there's three treasure chests here, but I think one of them's open, and one of them you can't get whatever's inside, so... Just another cool thing with that theory. Oh, great. Thank you for laughing, man. Help me out. I thought I was going to die at this part, to be completely honest. But yeah, so two of these are open, I suppose. I was wrong, and just one of them's closed. This one's going to have some dark magic in it. Uh, dark orb. Let's look at that item description. Oh yeah, and all the carvings are made by Goff. Silver Pendant, you will come in handy, but let's take you off for right now. Uh, let's see. Pyromancy, or dark magic. It's not pyromancy, it's a dark magic. It is Dark Orb. And yeah, you use intelligence for it. And that's so totally wrong when I said Pyromancy. Abyss sorcery discovered by an Ulusil sorcerer on the brink of madness. Fire giant Dark Orb. 
In contrast to standard soul sorceries, abyss sorceries are weighty and inflict physical damage. Perhaps human souls, because of their humanity, produce sorceries with more tangible presence. So, a pretty interesting connection there with human souls and the fact that dark's coming from humans, again. So the fact that humanity and humans are connected. Um, it was discovered by Ulusil sorcerer, and there's kind of this contention of, well, were Ulusil people humans or were they not? I tend to think they were, but there's no evidence that supports that in any way. I almost just forgot about this and fell off. Which I guess wouldn't have mattered too much since I already got everything. I guess I gotta go to the top floor, I believe. Or is this the one where you drop that back down? Uh, nope. Gotta go to the top floor. So, so, yeah, oh, that's right, because it was a different door. Some cool stuff on that. Some cool, cool stuff. I'm just looking around. Again, it's one of those things where, uh, silver pendant I'll get, but I don't always get everything else around here. Because uh, I usually don't play int, int builds, so usually the dark magic stuff doesn't matter to me too much. And by usually, I, mean, I rarely do. I think I had one int build. And that was it. So... Anyways, that's all of Ulusil... Or that was some of Ulusil stuff. Oh! Ho -ho! That was so stupid! We're gonna have to come back. That was just very depressing and sad. I made it past the hard part, but when it comes to something easy to do, that's just how it is sometimes. See in a moment. Somehow my, uh, my souls are missing. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. How'd you souls end up all the way back here? I want it back. Even though I'm probably not going to end up using it, because I'm sure I'll somehow lose it before I beat Manus and have the chance to go to, um, buy my Mask of the Father, which I'm th thinking I really do want to eventually buy so I can get some better armor just for the sake of, if I'm showing how to max out a low level build, I think Mask of the Father is definitely a way to do that. I mean, you can equip better armor. Like, what more do you want? This guy's gonna carry carving. Very good! Very good for defeating the treasure. I'm kind of wondering if, if like, if there's an implication behind the way you get all of these ones. Because that I'm so sorry one seems so ominous in a way. For how you got it. And it's something I never really thought about before for the carvings. I've thought about the meaning of their descriptions, if they meant anything, but not where you actually get them. So, speaking on which, let's look at these carvings and think about it. Think on them for a little bit. Got so many boss souls. Head carved of arc trees by Goff in his imprisonment. Goff imparts an emotion to each and every completed carving, which helps him achieve personal enlightenment. When a head is distributed, disturbed. When a head is disturbed, it speaks, reflecting the emotion conferred to it. This head says, "I'm sorry." Have another look. Isn't that an expression of atonement? And the very good one says, "This head says, very good." Have another look. Does it not appear quite jovial? So not too much on the, um, the actual explanation at the bottom there, but, you know, interestingly how that was made, that was Goff, and these are his wood carvings, and what he's making. I love the I'm so sorry one for PvP, I don't, it just makes me, and the way some people have interpreted, incorporated it. Some good stuff, I thinks. Alright guys, let's get away from the sorcerer, because I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. I think I'm gonna try to dodge his bullets. That's how I think I shall try. Stupid sorcerer. This is a pretty annoying area to me. Okay, I forgot they were homing. Let's go up, heal, and then we're gonna try the dodge technique as much as I can. Even though I could get totally effed in the A for trying to dodge. Yeah, why don't you laugh away for the fact that I just dodged your snap? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh! <laughs> I should have just dodged it. I got cocky. Didn't have time. We'll be back. All right. 
attempt number deuce. Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. I really wanted that. Okay. While he's laughing, let's get across here. And not get out of the way quite enough, but it's just enough to get through. And kill this guy. You are dead! We're on the verge of Dark Souls 2 here, guys. And whoa, cannot wait for that. So, not gonna spoil anything, though you can watch my videos for that stuff, my other ones, but uh, these guys' long arms really remind me of one of the bosses in the Curse trailer that they were showing. Actually, a couple of them, especially the way they're angled and the way they did the angling on it. Uh, gotta say, a bunch of reminders to me that the Abyss uh, Curse... I mean, we know there's a curse, but the Abyss element of it spreading, I think, and the way that it curses these creatures. So I think, for citizens, denizens of Ulusil, you guys tried to have your peaceful sorcery, but then you decided to use torture. And uh, that's that's the opposite of peaceful. And it kind of screws you over, didn't it? Glad I found this rubbish. That's all I wanted. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these guys who are gonna pop down behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't say when I... Don't like your flurry attack at all. I got so obsessed with the Bartholomew song after the Dark Souls trailer. I was all into that. Everything was so great about that trailer. So I could make a run for it and try to go upstairs, which is kind of a good thing to way to do it, I think. Oh, I just hate this is kind of the tough area. Because there's that sorcerer there, and then you got one up there. Along with all these uh Bloated heads here, but there's that far away one up there who's gonna really mess you up if he uh, gets you in his sights So Yeah Let's see what I can do here take you out. I never really thought to use this pillar to my advantage before um, Cool that actually made it a lot easier So that's the strategy for you guys if you're having trouble run around this pillar so the sorcery can't get to you and then you can get take out both of these guys in one fell swoop. Alright, let's uh get a couple of you guys pissed off at me. Not gonna let that happen. Not going to even. Ha! You thought you would have it, but you didn't. You're kinda like an orangutan with your long arms. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was not supposed to happen like that. Oh! <laughs> Oh, my shield didn't do enough blocking. Oh, okay. See you guys in a moment. Dodge this. I'm in an action movie. I think uh, old Swisheroo is the way to do that one. You can't hide in your corner. What corner? All right. Come on, guy. Drop down, guy. There he is. Yeah. Look at this tasty meat just coming to kick you in the A. How about that? Alright. We know what to do now. Wrap it around the pillar. And we're going to use this pillar to our advantage. Oh, man. That did not work how it was supposed to work. Holy mo- Whoa, whoa. No! makes me so sad. So, Dark Souls froze on me. It couldn't handle this um, intenseness of Ulusil, so... That's just the way it is. <laughs> Knock you the hell out. Let's keep on running down. Mowing down these guys. This is where this run attack destroys. PvE, baby. All you PvPers can hit on it all you want, but it makes PvPs, PvEs so much fun. Alright, so, we're back. Attempt number three at this area. Good news is, it's been a pretty good run-through for me, just running back in here. Oh, man. Okay. So this time you wanted to poison me, and I said no. I said no! Alright. Don't get hit by that asshole. There we go. Alright, we're back. And good shape. Good shape. 
As long as that Lucille sorcerer up there doesn't notice me, we're doing all right. Oh wow, I only, only pissed off one of these guys. All right, fine by me. Get more large titanite shards. This is gonna be pretty awesome, all these large titanite shards. It definitely helps me not have to farm this area, so I do appreciate that, or farm for them. So, once I do uh, get that Mask of the Father, I probably will go ahead and get some better armor. Because why not? Why not? And then I'll be able to much, much easier pump it up. Alright. Any of you guys mad? Cool. You mad, bro? <laughs> you mad, bro? Oh, man. I was hoping that guy wouldn't hit me up there. I was like, oh, he could, could get pissed. Alright, we gotta go up here, get the key. We'll also take care of the rest of the bloated heads up in this area. I don't remember where they stand, so I'm gonna just keep my shield up for some safety measures, but, um... Yeah, that's kind of why I'm keeping my shield he raised high. And, I gotta say, um... I love that running attack. I know a lot of people rag on it for PvP, but, damn, oh, it's just so awesome for PV, uh... For the PVEs, you know? Like, not all of life is PvP, guys. PvP is great in this game and all. I'm the, no doubt, no doubt, but I really love my PvE. And that's really why we all played this game in the first place, you know? You know? Can't rag on that PvE. Dang, why'd I do that? Can't rag on that PV, uh, PvE and the useful items for PvE. Skull Lantern out, and New Seeker Passage, with no clues towards this one. Gotta give props to the people who just ran around with their uh, Skull Lantern up the whole time. This isn't gonna be one- yeah. I know you can look at the chain, I know, I know. Red Titanite Chunk. Yeah, I was being stupid before. The, uh, the key you need, you don't need to do the sh uh, Skull Lantern up thing, but Silver Pendant though, which is really, really helpful for Manus. You do. So, uh... You do, do, do. Oh. Whoops. Don't want to piss off this treasure chest until I heal up. Are you going to give me some large Titanite Shards? Because that would be pretty swell of you. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Two large Titanite Shards. You're such a fun guy. Not like Elizabeth. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this thing out. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Either I'm missing it or I'm being stupid. Yeah. I was like, I thought this was a treasure chest dude. Oh, man. If I get died of this guy, I wouldn't be so mad at myself. You don't die at a treasure chest. Mask of avarice on your head. Trying to get all the souls in the world. I know what you want, man. You just want all the souls in the world with that mask of avarice. Crest key. All right. Now we can go talk to Goff. Let's go ahead and read the description of the crest key. Bent crest key. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door sealed with a powerful spell. So again, not giving you any lore info, so they don't have to when they don't want to. Kind of the point of talking about that, I suppose. Alright, so this, uh, not much to look at here, but, 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 but. This right here is pretty, uh, important. Oh, shoot. We will kill you in two hits and say, screw you, bloatheads, screw you. So I could just drop down there, but, um, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Did I get that thing to drop? Yeah, I did. There's, um, so see that rope right there? You can make that drop. It's another chandelier-esque thing. Uh, I think, actually, the, uh, bloathead sorcerer can pop it off himself, so you don't actually have to do it, but... Also, sometimes I'll walk off the ledge, but I like dealing with him this way. Keep him separated. You know, you gotta keep him separated. Boom, 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 We're doing offspring. That was my jam when I was in 8th grade. That kind of dates me. <laughs> That's alright. 
Oh, whoops, 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 whoa, whoa. No, 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 you are not killing me because if you do, I will hate my life. I will say, Dave, you need to quit making Dark Souls videos because you are the worst in the world. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 you do not. No, you do not. I, th I just got scared, and I started playing Love Poop because I got scared. Okay. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. We just gotta play smart. And stop playing like an idiot. Oh, okay. There we go. One taken care of. You want it? You want it? Because I, I can dish it out. I bring the pain! Let's go get that shortcut. Let's go get that shortcut. Man, you guys... This really did a number on Ulysseal, huh? Look at all this crap. Artorius has just been spewing his... Abyssness all over the place. I fully blame this on Abyss. You, Abyss and Artorius. Totally ruined this house. Look at what you did. Dark Fog is that poison spew that they were uh, shooting out at me. Ah, man. I always forget that this, like, you feel like you're in a cave when you're down here. And while there are mountains surrounding, there really is a top to it. Anyways, let's go activate this before I somehow mess it up. Like, this entire run, know what I'm saying? Okay. I haven't been playing that bad, but it hasn't been. Marvelous Chester good, you know? Way to incorporate Marvelous Chester me. Thumbs up. Oh, you know what I just realized? The fact that I died means we didn't summon Chester. Let's let's go get Marvelous Chester over here. Let's do that. I I want to get Marvelous Chester on this this place. Oh wait, actually, you know what else I want to do? Let's repair our equipment while we're here, just in case. I don't want to even have to deal with thinking about that because I got enough souls. All right, equipment repaired. Let's go get Marvelous Chester to attack me. And then he'll be really mad at us when we talk to him again. I'm sorry, man. You're the one who attacked me and invaded my house. My world. So, don't get mad at me, Marvelous Chester, if you're going to invade my world. At least Man Meter Mildred was like, Okay, I, I effed up, so I guess I'll help you now. My bad for being a dude. I didn't realize how powerful you were, so I guess I gotta help you. That is Maneater Mildred. You, though, Chester, you're like, oh, I'm gonna be angry if you, if, if, for the fact that I was the person who was messed it all up and was a horrible thing, person. Surprise attack! Can't even handle that. Yeah, I got a little bit better at running through this stuff <laughs> while I was doing those run-throughs that you guys uh, didn't have to see that I was skipping pat editing through. I um, I didn't die any of those times. I'm, the only reason I'm saying that is not like for my own vindication. It's just because I do try to include all of my deaths in these. Um, unless, I, I think there's like a couple times I've cut it out. But for the most part, I want, you know, I don't want to cut them. Just so it feels more real. Like, alright, this is the real deal here, this playthrough. Chester should get summoned around the staircase down here. Come on, there we go. He's gonna get summoned up there. Backstab! That was, I'm sorry, Chester, that was kind of ass holy of me. So he throws these dart flower things, so let's see if we can get them too. Don't, uh... He also does a sweeping attack. There's his dark flowers. They turn into flowers, and there's a sweeping attack. Um, I do want him to throw those darts again so we can see them explode into flowers, but I don't want to get hit. Oh my gosh. Chester. <laughs> I guess I should have just killed him. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go kill him. So I'm gonna come back to uh, when I get to him to kill him. I was just trying to get those flowers to appear. You guys all saw that I could have easily taken care of him. That was my own dumb fault. Oh! Whoops. Should've taken care of both of those bloodheads.
All right, let's take this marvelous Chester guy out. I don't know about what you guys think, but uh, I don't think he uh, has the poise. Oh, didn't mean to push him off, but that works too. I forget if he has a drop, but looks like I'm not getting it. Uh, my bad on that. <laughs> I did kind of want to show if he had a drop. I didn't. I was like, I think I could get him with with that last one and not kill him. Marvelous Chester, you just got no poise, man. So I was thinking about the reason why I haven't been invaded at all, and I was like, oh, that's right. That's where the level 6 thing comes in handy. So there's the level 6 thing, and I also wanted to show it again for the sake of I'm getting pretty close to the point where I'm going to face Manus. Not, not there yet. I mean, I still got a lot of struggles ahead like this point, which is a struggle in, of its own. That's for sure. But, um... Yeah, if I do say so myself. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, what? Somehow I never noticed this before. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> See you in a moment. Money, money, money. All right. Those large Titanite Shards might have made that death worth it. Man, I'm not sure. I might have gotten that item on my first playthrough. But that was such a long time ago. That I really... I mean, that's when I was doing my most exp exploration. Other than when I look for lore things. So, uh... Hmm. That's, uh, that's all I got. Just, hmm. Alright, let's see if I can piss these guys off. And just at least lure them to me. Yeah, that's really the way to do it. So I wonder if that area can come in handy for getting these stupid sorcerers out of the way. I seriously hate those guys so much. This is my least favorite part of Lula Seal, is just this thing right here. These sorcerers are crap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I've definitely screwed myself over before trying to get away from them. Okay, if you can get the higher ground, like right here, their sorceries can't hit you. So you gotta try to trick them into coming up. Well, I guess you don't have to, but that's like one choice that you got. So see, like, when they're on the top of their staircase, yeah, they can hit you. But when they're just down there, they can't, unless you uh, allow them to by going to that point. But anyways, the lower they are compared to your height, you got that height advantage on them, so. Oh, you wanna laugh? Let's see, how, let's see what it does for you. Uh, it basically got you to win. Right. We're going to get you to draw out over here. Uh, but while we do that, let's take a look at Ulusil here. I think I can kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here you have the uh, catalyst. The Ulusil catalyst are all on these statues, these headless statues. Uh, so that's pretty cool when you look at that and you pay attention to, ooh. So you have actually come to me a lot more than I thought you would. But yeah, all these guys have uh, Lucille Catalyst on them. And up there again, you can see the top of the mountain area uh, where it really branches off. And then up there further. So this is going digging into the mountainside, but um, yeah, you're not totally in a cave yet here. So if anyone thought you were, not, not quite. Although you are close. To the cave of the first man! Potentially. Well, it is. It is, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll have some things to talk about for if uh, Manus is the furtive pygmy. That's always, um, always a good debate and discussion, I think. So, I'll definitely chime in on that as we go to him. Okay. Oh, you were trying to get your dark spew all over me. So I think what I'm going to do is skip that guy for now and I'll come back and kill him. But we're going to do a little skip first. Oh, uh, well, it's just a soul of brave warrior, so it doesn't matter that much. That I forgot about that thing. That's all it was. Oh, it makes me wonder about all these areas that I never really looked at. Okay, nothing. Nothing there. When I first saw this dude, I was like, what? What? Are you kidding me? What is this thing? Also reminds me a little bit of one of the Dark Souls 2 bosses they show. Just a little bit, just because of the thing sticking out of him. But in the end, it's not. So yeah, you can pretty much just lure him away. 
and then be like, peace. Peace, I do not feel like dealing with you in this time. Oh, he actually runs for you. Okay, well, uh, maybe you should summon that then, and then do it. I think this is the first time I haven't killed him. I've just decided I don't like dealing with that area. And if I die again, it's just going to be too big of a pain in the ass to deal with. So what I'd rather do is just go run down this thing. Alright. We'll have this battle in a moment, bro. But we're not going to do it just yet. Alright, you want to battle me? Let's do it. I know you want to kill me. I know. Do it here. Pillage body? Are you saying there's a large, a large, a large Titanite shard? Okay. So this area with cells that seem to be broken through, I think is pretty important. It's kind of like the dark secret of Ulysseal. Uh, but we will talk about that in a moment. Don't let me forget. Please remind me. <laughs> Please write in the comments right now to remind me to do it, even though it's going to be in this episode to talk about those cells. So we will be right back to talk about that. But first, we, we got a guy to deal with here. I'm talking about you. Alright, that did not go how I wanted it to. I wanted to go into the open space first. Hopefully those sorcerers that are now there won't come back to haunt me. That would be, uh, that would be very nice. Alright, so his little, his little, his chain attack thing can be pretty annoying because it basically has two chances of hitting you. His ball and chain. Actually, I guess that's a stone, isn't it? This guy was definitely held prisoner. Uh, it was a, I think it's a prisoner who was, uh, infected by the whole abyss stuff. But I would say probably prisoner first. Okay, that was a close one. But yeah, so see that swing? Uh, that thing? That can really, that can hit you twice, so you gotta watch out for it. Oh, crap. I just went the wrong way, hopefully that didn't screw me over. Let's use these little seal statues to our advantage here. Yeah, so one and two, and then you can deal with them. But make sure you uh, let him swing at you twice with that thing. That's probably lucky that that happened. Okay, so one. Oh, that one's just gonna be a one and done. So, all right, come on, get your whatever you want to do in, so I can hurt you. Woo! -hoo. Man, that hurt me for more than I thought it would. Let's go this way so we don't wake up those sorcerers. All right, swing and deal. And deal. And that's how you do deck style. Get some leather gauntlets and chain leggings. I actually didn't know he dropped that stuff. Let's look at this. Um, somehow I didn't know that. Uh, can you guys confirm for me? I'm sorry I don't know this, but does he always drop this stuff? Or is this um a random drop? Chain leggings. Chainmail leggings of thin interlinking rings of steel. It is common throughout the human world since it can be easily produced. It is not too heavy and offers good defense. Knights may favor flashy armor, but for warriors on the battlefield, anything is fine as long as it keeps them alive. So the fact that he was wearing that indicates this guy must be a human. Um, and I believe I got the leather gloves, which I'm wearing anyway, so nothing there. But uh, that other though, the chain leggings, that, that means he's got to be a human if he's wearing that, so... Um, cool, man. Cool, guys. That's some fun stuff. Um, okay, so... I'd imagine he broke out of one of these cells here. So we're back on the cell topic. And a really cool theory I actually like a lot from Terra Mantis is that... Uh, Manis also... When you see the sort of dark secret area, that this could have been like a big torture chamber area. And they were trying to get, they were a sorcery type of place, and they were trying to get these sorceries out of all these uh, humans, and I uh, just drove Manus insane. And I'm gonna go ahead and link to Terra Mantis's video on Manus here, because I think it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and um, got a lot of really cool lore thoughts in that one. So uh, you guys should really check it out, because there's not too much talked about on Manus. And, um,. Yeah, this video has got a lot of cool thoughts in it, but I, I like a lot of them. I really do like a lot of the thoughts, regardless of what you think of the video or not. I think it's a well-done video, but um, you got to give it props at least for the sake of cool, cool theory. Very cool theory. 
I'm not too good at killing these guys, apparently. And I could really use... No! Twi Titanite chunks! Not Twinkling Titanite. Give me the wrong thing. Ugh, another one of these sorcerers is back there. I don't really need what's there, but I feel like I should get it since I'm doing this Let's Play. A lot of times I just skip it. Because, like I said, not playing the build for it, so... Like, screw that noise. Maybe this will get them to notice me. You want to notice me? I need to draw one at a time. So deal with the sorcery. Yes! Mm. <laughs> Come out wherever you are, sorcerer. Oh, now you're mad. You mad, bro? Oh, I'm not. Not gonna let this mistake happen again. I need my little cone thing. I need it. Okay, so he's that one. In the back there. I hate him so much! Seriously. Seriously, though. There's a word for what I think of him, and hate is the word. I feel like the advice for me would be stop being a total puss, but... Seriously. Those guys, I don't do well against. Okay, okay. We got it down, so it's just him. Alright, let's just make a run for it. And here we go. In your face, mofo! I hate you so much. <gasps> oh, green titanite shard. Makes sense because he does magic, but I was really hoping I'd get his head. Dark bead. Let's look at it because not not a fun thing to get. Don't like getting that one. And we also got a dark fox. Let's look at that first. Abyss sorcery discovered by an Ulysseal sorcerer on the brink of madness creates a cloud of dark fog. Although dark fog is in theory relatively close to humanity, it also happens to be a terrible poison for humans. Hmm. Perhaps it reflects man's cruelty against his own. Again, you found this in the bottom of this area, right? In the bottom of Ulysseal. And by these, close to these chambers where people seem to have been being tortured. So again, Ulysseal known for having peaceful magics, but really this dark, uh-huh, dark fog, dark magic, this dark underbelly to Ulysseal. Um, dark bead, abyss sorcery discovered by an Ulysseal sorcerer on the brink of madness, fire successive dark orbs. People love spamming this one. Uh, in contrast to standard soul sorceries, abyss sorceries are waiting and inflict physical damage. Perhaps a human soul is closer to matter in its humanity. So, that sounded a lot like the other one I read. Even though I think Dark... Yeah, Dark Beat is what I just picked up. It sounds a lot... Oh, slightly different to Dark Orb. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so these really do indicate that there was torture here going on. And that's, again, why I really like Terramantis' video. Is he really pointed out a lot of this stuff in a really cool way. Because um, they were trying to get this other type of sorcery, so uh, discovering dark sorceries on top of their peaceful spells. So I, I just enjoy the fact that it is, when you think about it, literally a dark underbelly, and they're using dark magic. Yes, it's a Japanese game. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Japanese game, so. Yep, I know, I know. Everything's really Japanese, but. Ha! Alvina, come back! Where did you go? I enjoy the fact that Alvina's here. So Alvina really clearly does know what happened to Ulysseal, I think, and like, the graves and all that, but this to me is what indicates she's lying to you when you talk to her. Uh, in the Dark Roots forest. So, she she's here. She knows exactly what's going on in Ulysseal. Alvina, we're coming back for you. Let's go ahead and get this next shortcut. So, shortcut number two unlocked. This is going to be the shortcut for really taking care of Manus right here. Uh, and this is the one, guys. This is it. So, we're going to go ahead and get Sif. And I'm going to go ahead and turn human. And if I stay alive the whole time, we'll use Sif my first attempt. Because I'm sure it'll take multiple attempts against Manus. And 
Um, if Sif doesn't make it the first time or I don't, I probably will not. Okay, we'll talk to, uh, we'll also talk to Kieran later. It may end up being next episode where I talk to Kieran, I do Goff, and I do Calamite and all that stuff. Uh, cause I don't, I, I think it's probably been a while, I, because that whole freezing thing, I don't know exactly how long this has been and with all the cuts I'm going to be making. So I think after Manus, that's gonna wrap up this episode. And next episode will be Calamite, and probably I'll start breaking into the whole Isola thing, so. Um, that's what I think this is gonna end up being. So, we'll have to decide next episode if we want it to be cool or not to Kieran, but... For now, I got bigger fish to fry, you know? I got the biggest fish to fry. Kind of, uh, the boss of the DLC, definitely. Even though Calamy really is the harder boss, this feels like the boss of the DLC with Manus. Oh, wait, oh, okay, I'm gonna... Ha! I forgot to actually turn myself into a human. So, guys, I will be right back. Um, and I'll be human. That was funny. So, yeah, we're gonna do Sith. We're gonna go ahead and grab Sith. And actually, let's send this back up. <laughs> let's just send it back up. Yeah, we're gonna do Sith. And Alvina has led people off of that cliff over there. So, Alvina, a little tricky there. I think it's just downstairs where you have to go. These guys, uh, these humanity sprites, A, they look like humanity, which is pretty cool. But B, they also are really good for uh, dropping humanity. So if you want to farm humanity, uh, this is a good alternative to the rats. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Or the baby skeletons. Alright, so Alvina ends up here and kind of just disappears. And uh, also kind of uh, looks like there might be bones or something on the ground there to me. Or at least there's markings. Anyways, let's go downstairs. Because I think that's where Alvina ran off to if I remember correctly. Alvina! Alvino Mokenu, we're coming for you. Take care of these uh, humanity sprites, and don't worry, Alvina. I'll I'll come help out Sif. Never these humanity sprites are very easy, very very easy. I don't even know why I'm afraid of dying here, honestly. What if I died right after I said that? <laughs> Seems like that type of playthrough. I honestly I. I knew I would have some trouble with the Lucille. I think that this is a difficult area. Um, especially the fact that I'm low level, this is really where it's going to affect me. I mean, the boss battles it does, but I knew just the fact that running through some of these places, low level, hardly any health, a lot lower defense, because I haven't been getting my, any resistance up, or anything up. Um, yeah, I mean, you know. This was definitely going to be a difficult area. Because at this point, I mean, for the DLC, it's pretty much assumed that you've leveled up for the rest of the game. Uh, to me, I think of this as the last area in the game you should go to if you're playing normally. Now, of course, if you want challenges, and like, you know, like what I'm doing right now, it doesn't matter. You can go to whenever it is best for you in terms of challenge sense, but um, I do think that this is the area you're going to want to go to last. A pyromancy discovered from the dark of the abyss by a pyromancer who wandered into Ulysseal conjure a great black flame in one's palm. Black flames are weighty and inflict physical damage, enough to smack away the mightiest of shields. Unfortunately, I can't even use pyromancy, because I... <sighs> Kita, you're so dumb. Because Kita is dumb. That's why. Um, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't where the area with... Uh... With Alvina was. For some reason I thought it was over here. Alvina and Sif. So... Alright. I guess it's just a secret passage. Or caver, isn't it? Like, something like that. Been a while. Sorry, guys. This is, again, something I only did on my first playthrough. So, um, that is why... I don't remember exactly... So, there it is. Well, there we go. Yeah. Like I said, that was um something I only did in my first playthrough. But really cool here. I, I do love this secret here that Sif is here. Uh, hidden away. And the fact that they even incorporated a new cutscene with Sif. Just again, the quality of the DLC. And I believe it's actually something Miyazaki wanted to include in the original game. So maybe that's why this DLC is just so good. 
uh, but just everything that they have in it, just lore-wise, there's so much stuff. All the bosses are really good, and the area itself is really well-designed in interconnecting areas. Um, I take it back, I've played one DLC for Fallout, and um, I enjoyed it, but not this is a whole nother level of good. Then again, so is Dark Souls. So is Dark Souls. Sif, we got you, man. I saved you! So you could come attack me later on with your, the great sword of Artorius, which is going to grow and scale a lot. Somehow it grows with you. Get that cleansing great shield. Let's check it out. Cleansing great shield. He's going to be down further. Cleansing great shield. There, bottom. So, descaling on strength. You need a lot of strength to wield it. And it's also, I believe, got a lot of poise. So... Uh, lots of great magic defense, great fire defense, great lightning, and I mean, stability is what I meant. It's got, it's got good stability. 77. I mean, that's higher than the Black Iron Great Shield. It's just so uh, pretty awesome. Uh, its weight is 14.5, so it weighs less than the Black Iron Great Shield. So, you know, it's a good overall strength build shield. I'm not going to be able to wield it, so I can't, can't really look at that aspect. This, and, yet... Yeah, Good against everything, everything really, except physical's not huge, but I think you can upgrade it. I and mean, I've got my uh, green crest shield, grass crest shield upgrade a lot, so. Anyways, the steel great sword used by Knight Artorius, who suck him to the abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot Sith. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. So, man, imagine fighting Artorius with his shield and without that bum arm. Which I guess would mean that he has just has that shield. That's the difference. Really, really awesome, man. Really awesome. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, um, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and head to. Uh, I could keep exploring the the abyss, but we'll do it after Manus. I think. I want to go ahead and just take on Manus here. Man, this is too bad. This guy's gonna take two hits now. I like being able to just run through, knock him off in one hit, and just keep on going. I also don't... You know, the idea of summoning Sif, it's fun, but he doesn't help at all with this fight, from my understanding. I've never done it before. He doesn't help at all with the Sif, this fight. And, um... Twin Humanities, hidden away. And he's just gonna make Manus have more health. So in a lot of ways, he's really the opposite of helpful. Uh, but we love him anyways. Right? Yeah. Let's take out these guys, and we'll go back in that area. I don't want Sif to lose any health before the big fight. Which will probably be a whole number of tries. Uh, I think the Manus, you could really consider the Manus fight to be the final boss in the game. If you weren't happy with Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Uh, I think you'd be pretty happy with Manus, you know? He's definitely a good one. Soul of the Hero, and if you're not happy with Manus, be happy with, uh, Calamite. Alright, there is a way to cheese the hell out of Manus. You can take all of his health down and kill him, except for, I believe, one hit, by shooting arrows at him. So, there you see those red glowing eyes, that is Manus, right there. So, you just find a nice spot to perch, like right here. Equip all of your uh, archery equipment. Like, since I'm such a huge dex build right now, I, I could take him the hell out if I wanted to. And just stock up on arrows. Like, dra Dragon Slayer arrows, or any arrows. And just uh, longbow type of arrows, because he's far away. And just take him out. Those red things are his eyes. That glowing white thing... I'm honestly not sure what that is. Honestly not sure. Hmm, trying to wonder on that. So, while we're going to Manus, or while we're going to grab Sif, who I believe is back here, um, Manus, is he the Furtive Pygmy? Good question. So, Manus stands, A, we know he's a primordial human. Or, not primordial, well, yeah. I thought Sif was up here to summon Sif. There's another white Titanite slab. I've actually never summoned him before. So, while I'm looking for Sif, I'm going to talk about Manus stuff. And if I don't find him, I'll just cut to after I've found him. But I'm 
I'm a little confused. Unless that's what that white thing is. Maybe that's Sif's summon sign. Actually, it is Sif's summon sign. That's what that white thing is. Yep. That's what it is. It's because I'm never human when I go to fight him. That's why I didn't know that. Alright, anyways. Um, Manu means is a Hindu god, which was a primordial man. So, you can watch uh, the 10 Things Inspiration video that Terramantis and I did. So... The first ever man is what Manu means. So that's kind of a hint that Manus might be the primordial um, human from Dark Souls. And the very first, the furtive pygmy, I mean, not the primordial human, the furtive pygmy. So that's a pretty big indicator there. Manus also means hand in Latin. Manus, the hand of fate. But um, the Manu thing, and a lot of, there's a lot of god, or Hindu gods that it seems like Dark Souls is referenced from. I can't remember the exact name of the Gwendolyn god, and MS Painting was the one who pointed this out to me initially, so props to MS Painting on pointing out all the Hindu god stuff to me. But there are a lot of Hindu god correlations in Dark Souls, and especially, especially that. I'm gonna keep quiet for this. Okay, so Manus Hand makes sense. Oh, I don't, I'm just trying to find the summon sign, man. Just trying to find Sif's summon sign because I have no idea where the hell it is. Oh, there he is. Crap. Such a huge waste on my end running this way. I should have just run towards him. Oh, totally early on my part. Okay, come on. Where is Sif? Just want to summon Sif, man. Oh, what? Where the hell is Sif? Where is he? Oh my gosh. If I die because of that... Oh. Alright, I'll, I'll try again to find Sif. I'm sorry, guys. I, oh, there he is. I'll be back. We're back. And this time, I better get Sif. Otherwise, I will be very angry at myself. I still don't have any clue where he is, though. I wish I did, because I really don't want to... God damn, where the fuck is Sif? Right by where I died. I believe it's over here. Nope. I still have no clue where it is. Here we go. Yes, thank you. Okay. Heal up and deal with. Whoa. That could have been bad. Alright, there we go. Got Phantom Grey Wolf Sif summon. Now, you should be able to get two attacks here on him. Wow, my dodge radius is a lot better with this thing than it was uh, Wiz Without. Yeah, so again, Sif not doing much of anything, but... Hey, we got Sif. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that could have been bad. Maybe if he helps distract him, though. That could be pretty dope. I didn't want to... I don't know. It almost feels cheap if I beat him with Sif, because, like, I've been doing everything else without, but... I don't know. I guess I'm pretty happy to just take out Manus. It feels like he's focusing on me, though. I will say that, so... Um... You know, there's that. He's focusing on me. Sif's kind of doing a lot of crap. So that's where the silver pen is going to really come in handy. Oh, 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 oh my god, I didn't know about that attack. Well, you know what? It means I'm going to come back with uh, without Sif helping me. So, we will be back. I usually don't stay behind him like that. Just thought I'd try something new out, which was a bad idea. See you guys in a moment.
What up, Manus? You're mad at me? I don't know why. I didn't torture you, man. I just walked in here and you're like, hey, I'm gonna slap you in the face. But I didn't do anything to you. Now I'm hitting you because you're trying to slap me in the face. Um, so I read a strategy guide that recommended level 6. It was like, yo, you should be level 6 for your soul level to fight Manus. And I was like, alright. Alright. So what I did right there, you might have noticed I just stopped targeting him for a second. Um, for that specific attack, it's better to... Um... Sorry, a little distracted. It's better to stop targeting him and then hit his hand because you're too far away from his body. Or hit his manis, if you know what I'm saying. I like to stay a little further away from him, not totally right up next to him because of this flurry attack right there. Um, you're pretty much going to get hit by it if you stay up right next to him. You can avoid it, but it's hard to. And it's just not worth that risk. Um... Especially for me, I would it's a one hit kill on me if he hits me with that, so it's really not worth it for me. And yeah, so this honestly, I've been fighting Manus for such a long time at this point. It's it's just disgustingly sad. He's definitely harder than four kings. Um I mean to my credit, I can't use pyromancy or, um, I don't know, what else do the kids like to use? Pyromancy or Sorcery. So, I guess I've got that going for me, but it's just... He's... I've just, I've been so close to killing him so many times, it's been pretty heart-wrenching to fight this... This son of a bee. So if I get away from him, he will come running at me. And that was kind of the goal there. I wonder if you can just trick him into just doing that running attack a bunch. But probably not once he uh, starts using this magic against you. The dark magic is pretty frustrating, I think. If it was just the first half of the fight, I would have killed him a long time ago. But you gotta use this magic, yo! Alright, Manus. One. Oh, good. Good, good. I do like this one. Like, look at how much of this dark magic he's been using. Come on, like, do an attack so I can actually hurt you. There we go. Again, I'm sorry guys if this isn't fun commentary. Funitary. Like, I like to do. I've just been fighting her for so long at this point. I'm just pretty... Honestly, just out of it. I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun if I actually do beat him, to have the commentary there so you can hear my actual reaction. But, I'm starting to get to the point where I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm just kind of concentrating. Okay, okay. Get away from that flurry. And yeah, that's that. Yeah, so there he kind of likes to... I mean, I guess if I was playing better, I could use that to my advantage. But uh, right now I'm kind of just in play safe mode. Because he's really just been knocking me out left and right. It's gonna have the most epic music in the world during this boss battle! Oh shit. Did the wrong thing. I got lucky there. get back in his range. 
One, two. I'm just... I'm honestly starting to get confused about what's what. I've been playing this guy for so long. That might sound lame, but it's true. Normally that's a two-hitter, but I didn't have the ability to two-hit it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I almost want to start crying. Oh! Okay, so, for real, I started playing this at 10 p.m. And, um... It's now... 4.30 in the morning. I never want to stay up this late, but as a chosen undead, you just gotta keep going, you know? Until you beat it, but... I... I always thought Calamite was the hardest boss, and honestly, at this level, I, I can't imagine Calamite being harder than this, so, I mean, we'll see next episode, but, um... I did it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um... If you guys want a real challenge, level six, when without intelligence, without like if you look at here, this is again to prove it. Like level six, without um, intelligence, without attunement slots, I can't attune anything. I can't attune pyromancy. I can't attune intelligence or um, sorceries. And I just, I know for you guys who watch all my let's plays, you know this, but this is for anyone who might have just watched this video. Um, this is absolutely a true challenge against Manus because you were just bug biting the hell out of him the entire time and really one mistake and you're out of it and that was a long battle you guys saw how long that just took and I've been doing this for hours in every mess up I, I'm gonna show you guys at least one of those a full length of me not baking it and uh, you can see just how hard it is when that happens um this is probably the hardest fight I've ever had in Dark Souls, right here. I've never had, even like my first time against Calamite, which I thought was insanely difficult and I never thought I was going to beat because I wasn't that good at Souls back then. And I was also on New Game Plus, uh, I think, when I finally fought Calamite because that was just where my character was. So everything was harder there because I was in New Game Plus, but still, like, this is, I think, the hardest thing I've ever done in Dark Souls, so... Let's talk to Dusk. <laughs> now that all that's done. I have so much footage on my computer right now. This is insane. So that's basically all Dusk is going to say to us. It's just that. So I want to do this whole lore talk. But I don't. I have no idea at this point how long this video is. I'm just completely dazed and out of it. <laughs> so uh, the one thing I will show that's really cool here is this. Uh, this would seem to be where Manus was sleeping was in this area. Um, I do think he was tortured as well, as Terramantis talked about in that video I was saying before, but I think that this is where he slept uh, and where he was w awoken. And Goff kind of also hints that they awoke him, and like regarding Ulysseel, the Ulysseel people awoke him, and I think it was just them digging too far for knowledge too much. And I think it's kind of that, uh, that idea that, again, same thing with Seath. Like the idea with Seath that you were going too far uh, for knowledge, like, you only should know so much. It was the same thing with Ulysseel, that same cautionary tale of, uh, they just went, they dug too far. It's also like Lord of the Rings, but the dwarves, they dug too far. But, um, yeah, that's where Manus would have been sleeping, so. Sorry again, guys, if the commentary wasn't that great on that, uh, that boss fight. I just, oh my god, that, that was insane. I was just looking at the clock like, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep, so... Um... I'm not gonna do any of the soul stuff here. Normally I would, but I've just gotta go to bed. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um... Thank you so much for watching this. This is awesome. I do want to explain my gear before I go, though. Um... There is a point, and you guys will see in the montage I create where I switch gear here. And I ended up putting on the... And I didn't want to, but I was trying to put on a better armor here. So I took off my arms, and I was trying to put on armor, and everything I was doing was still fat rolly. So I switched to uh, the Mask of the Father. And then 
I accidentally didn't try out Night Armor, so my, maybe with Night Armor I could still do my awesome ninja rolls. But at that point, it's just like, alright, it looks like I gotta put on the Ring of Favor and Protection and get some extra... Um, get some extra equipment load. So, threw that on, realized I could upgrade and actually wear the Elite Night Armor, not just the Night Armor, which I'd started upgrading. I did some farming for a couple Titanite chunks, everything else I had enough of, and uh, equipped Elite Night Armor plus 9. So, took off my arms for that one. And uh, also got the Mask of the Father. So I just want to explain why I've got the gear I've got. Um, I'll probably add in some of that video, but... Oh man, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I think next episode is going to be Calamite. And uh, these these episodes to me are kind of the finales in a way, because these are the hardest bosses, Manus and Calamite. Like, um, I, I think Calamite is going to be a little bit easier than Manus. I could be wrong, but... Uh, just the way I had to deal with Manus. I know Calamite's going to be a long boss fight, but um, if I remember correctly, as long as you really know his patterns, you can pretty well stay away from him. Whereas Manus is a really quick uh, twitch, quick twitch muscle reflexes in order to beat him properly. So guys, uh, that does it. Again, huzzah! Oh my god, huzzah! Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time for probably Calamite, and then we'll be uh, winding down with Isolith, and uh, then on to Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. So guys, peace. See you next time. Later. I have attacks. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. Nope, I'm dead. Wow, he takes me out. Oh, ha <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Manus on Manus. Ha. <laughs> Instead of mano on mano. Which actually does mean hand to hand, so. Nope, nope. Long attacks that take you out. Oh, crap, I shouldn't have done that. Get in. Oh, come on. Fuck, I should have dodged. That was not the chance to heal. That was the chance for me to die. That game of patience. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh! No! Oh. Already lost. Fuck me. Give me a chance to... Alright, Manus. This time, we're going to end this once and for all. I'm going to be Babe Ruth and call this. Because, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, this is it, man. I'm done with you. Done with you, I say. Did you even see that healing? Alright, Manus. You gotta do some attacks though that I can actually hit you from. Otherwise, this ain't gonna work. Okay, I can hit you from this. So, the reason I stay as far back as I do is because if he hits me with this attack, um, I'm just done. I, that's a one hit kill for me. Even if he hits me during the middle of it. So, um, I can't even take that risk, really. And I've said that a lot of times tonight, uh, just in case the hope that it would be the one. Neo. I know that's the one I could attack on, but just gotta do what I gotta do, unfortunately. When he turns around, it always weirds me out. I'm kinda like, what are you thinking, Manus? What exactly are you is going on in that brain of yours? Okay, so notice how I'd stop targeting him when I um, hit his hand? It's because otherwise you just wouldn't be able to hit him. So you gotta untarget him, swing towards his hand so you can at least hit his hand. And then you can uh, get a strike off on him. So that is why I do what I do. 
Also, um, you might notice I've switched my silver pendant at this point. Because, one, two, three. Um, I just knew that that's the point where he was getting close to using his abyss powers against me. So I kind of do this little back and forth where as soon as I heal, it's right back to, um... Crap. It's right back to Estus Flasks. I mean, Silver Pendant. Oh man, I'm not doing too hot. I'm just playing dumb. Okay, come on. Oh, that was one that is stuck. I should have used my heal. Okay, here's a point. Whoops. That was a... Uh, forgot to start... Forgot to target. Oh god. Oh god. I hate that one. That one always kills me. Come on. That's why I'm kind of like running to his right. Is for the hopes that, um... If that happens, I can dodge out of the way. Except the only problem is I'm starting to get too close to him. And if he hits me with this, that's also instant death. So... Man, this is one tough cookie. One tough cookie, I gotta say. Come on, Manus. There we go. Just one chance to heal. That's all. Let's do this thing. One and two. Crap, 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 crap! That was close. Really close. Oh my god. No! 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 Oh! Oh my god! I almost want to start crying. Oh!